we finally have a reason for why the iPhone's camera bump is getting redesigned with the iPhone 17 Pro. So this analysis comes from no title over on Twitter, and it completely makes sense. So starting out, we've heard these rumors that Apple is getting a new 48 megapixel telephoto lens for the 17 Pro and 17 Pro Max, right? That has been in the news for a while. And it's supposed to have some other cool capabilities, including like the ability to get really high zoom, like 10 times lossless zoom there. So these are all good things. But why does the sensor need to be redesigned for that? Well, the reason why is because when you add more pixels to a sensor, the pixels get smaller. It's the problem that people have had with the ultra wide sensor on the iPhone uh, 16 Pro and Pro Max. Like it is a 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor, but because the sensor is the same size and now there's more pixels in the same space, they are smaller, which means they are less sensitive to light. On a telephoto lens, you really need good low light capabilities, especially when things are far away. You need them to be good at collecting light. So to help with this, Apple is going to make the telephoto sensor larger. So it'll have more megapixels and also a larger sensor. Because of doing that in the Tetra Prism lens that Apple is using, there's no room going to the right. So to make up for that, Apple is going to rotate the Tetra Prism sensor for the telephoto lens to make it now horizontal when you're holding your phone horizontal. In doing so, there's no more room for the LiDAR sensor. So the LiDAR sensor now has to move to the right. So basically, Apple is doing what we kind of wish it would have done on the ultra wide lens. Give us a larger sensor with more megapixels. It's going to be a really great telephoto camera. I'm very excited for it, and it explains why Apple had to rejigger everything on the back of the phone, why we're getting that huge camera bump that goes the entire span of the iPhone. It's because we're getting the sensor that we actually want, and Apple had to move things around to make it happen. Let me know what you think. Are you excited for the iPhone 17 series? Drop me a line in the comments.